News First Newsline with Faraz Shaukatali. And a jolly good morning to you. This is Newsline. Live as always from the News First studios in Dawson Street in Colombo. And uh, there are some queries uh, as to when uh, Newsline will be the new timings. Well, actually, the new timings are uh, Newsline uh, Prime will be on uh, Thursday, Friday, and on Sunday. Yes, Sunday night. The new timings in the evening on Thursdays, Fridays, and Sundays will be from 8 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. And uh, on the other days, um, Monday, to Fri uh, the mo Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, will be at the usual time, 7 a.m. to 7.30. Now then, this morning, to ask the question, to answer the question, how bankrupt is political leadership in <coughs> this country, in Sri Lanka? To answer that, to some extent, hopefully will... Uh, is Dr. Ramesh Patran. A very good morning to you, Dr. Dr. Faraz, very good morning. And Dr. Ramesh Patran, of course, um, UPFA from the Gaul District. Now then, actually, that, that's a good question to start off with. What is wrong with the political leadership uh, stakes? Is it, is it a bit bankrupt? Okay, during our time, actually, I must say it wasn't bankrupt. President Mahindra Rajapaksha provided a very strong leadership to this country, politically and otherwise. Yes, but so, we're talking about the succession. Yeah, that's right, yes. The, so obviously we thought people had taken a wrong decision in relation but to what, the what leadership of this country. What did he do to, yeah. uh, to encourage well, he, the next level after him? I mean, he lost the election. And what? Then now they're still fighting for the leadership. But there's no fight as such. He's providing the... There's a de facto fight. No, he, he basically provides the popular leadership to the party. Right. And also people of this country, uh, you, know, you know, after his defeat, yeah. thought that they made a mistake. The but great majority of the people of this country. So well, we don't know that because uh, is his leadership a bit hollow because he's sitting in one party in the SLFP, technically, and then he's, he's uh, flirting <coughs> with the, another party. And uh, he goes about here, there, and everywhere. And then, to add, uh, to add to the problems, if you like, he, he answers a question in which everybody is going, everyone say, bingo. Because he answers a question, he says that the next leadership, that the talk about presidency now, um, he says that his son is too young because uh, ra uh, the age limits to, uh, up to 35. And then he also says that his brother is definitely a contender. There are several things wrong here. What about people like you and people like Dinesh Gunawardena and so on? These are, these are senior party people. They, the, what about them? Uh, is everybody just working for the agendas of the, um, the inner sanctum of the Rajapaksa family? No, actually, this uh, the, the the answer in relation to his son actually came secondary to a question posed by the journalist. Actually, right. so he had mentioned about his son. Yeah. Obviously, that there he mentioned he's too young to come to uh, that level. Right. So it's it's very clear. Yeah. So you know, people of this country have an aspiration. Probably his son will come forward someday. But he had provided a very clear answer to that. It's not the time for him. Right. On the other hand, okay, you uh, yeah, put forward a very valid question about Honorable Dinesh Kunawadana. Yes. But you'll have to look into the, the there he had mentioned. So the party and the people will have to take a decision. Probably his, you know, uh, his brother has come to the forefront that you can't obviously, uh, you know, did, you can't. You know, this is the whole thing. Minder and even Ranil, uh, they, they, they're not very specific, are they? I mean, when you're talking about a large Rajapaksa family, right, and he says, my brother, he gets the tongues wagging, doesn't he? Which brother? There's is it Gota? Is it Basil? Is it Chama? No, the, 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 the exact person will come forward at the correct time, because there's a legal argument also ongoing in relation to the 19th Amendment, whether he can, whether uh, President Mahindra Rajapaksa himself can come and come forward and contest again. So that, that legal battle has to be to prevailed. So no, if, if it doesn't happen so, yeah. so there is another option. So that options, uh, you know, we have to keep those options open. You know, so the name you mentioned thing. about Dinesh Gunawadana yeah. is one option. Yeah. The second option is, you know, probably... But he didn't say that. 
Yeah, he didn't say, it's too early he, to... He didn't say, well, you know, there's Dinesh as well, and we'll have to talk about it. He only said, he only said those but, things in terms of his family, his But that's brothers. again the, 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 the journalist question about the, the brothers. Right. The chance of brothers coming forward. Right. So those are the answers he had given yeah. in relation to the questions posed to him. The yes, journalist yes, didn't yes. question about Dinesh Guru, Honorable Dinesh Guru Adana. Right. So he didn't have the option. But obviously he has mentioned uh, in, a, in a broader perspective that it's the party and the people who will decide about the candidate. But There's a popular the, candidate but, uh, coming forward, but you have to look at the larger picture right. for us. Yeah. So you have to uh, look to the appeal of the people of this country as well. Right. So if the people come forward and tell him, look here, he's the best candidate, the probable candidate. So we'll have to listen to that. But the law is the law. I have a wonderful clip from uh, President uh, uh, Obama about leadership. And uh, if uh, Maxwell, my uh, producer this morning, is able to find it, um, we'll play the clip about President uh, Obama speaking at the OAU. Um, and, and that's about leadership. It's a very, um, a very strong message there, delivered in a typical Obama likeness, but a very powerful message. We'll see if we can play that, we'll come back to that. Uh, to that. But you know, now, back, back to this other business. Back in uh, the early days of uh, Mahind Rajapaksa's defeat, he blamed, he, he gave, everybody, the question on everyone's mind was how, how come he lost? And so he proffered this explanation. He said that RAW, the Indian Intelligence Agency, was amongst, the, amongst others who was responsible for his defeat. Now, he was very vocal about that. It was carried all over the place papers, radio, television, you name it, the web, mustn't forget the web, God, Facebook, right? Now then, then, leave that on the side, then we see India, right? We see, let's take it a step at a time. We see China, see this government giving them a virtual uh, sale. It's a long lease, okay? Prime Minister, we know what you say. Right? So it's a long lease, 99 year lease, Ambantara. It's like selling it all off anyway. It's 100 years to the Chinese. Then we have information that Matale Airport is going to the Indians. The Indian minister says, no, 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 there's no such thing. The Indian minister, right? But our minister says, yes, there is. So we don't know, there's some confusion there. So I don't know if. Politics is all about confusion. But anyway, that, that's there. Then you have uh, various other things given to the Indians, like Sampo, nothing's being done, and so on. Now then, in between all this comes along the Japanese defense people, and they're looking at all the things that have been given. It's almost like they're salivating, saying, oh my god, why didn't we get this? Right? And then they've got away. And then now we find all these politicians are making their way to India. Well, historically, far as we have seen, India had been playing a very significant role in Sri Lankan politics. Yeah. So those are, it could be dated back to a thousand years. Right. So in the recent past, actually, we have seen that during Jayajayavadana's time, Indira Gandhi directly came and involved in the Sri Lankan situation. Yeah. And again, during in relation to the peacekeeping force, IPKF. Yeah. So they, they, they were playing a significant role during uh, Mr. Prem Das's time. So after that, you know, the, the, the influence in relation to the, uh, the, the governance of Mrs. Chandrika Bandara Kumar Tunga, that yeah. was a significant part played by the Indian government. So it was very clearly known, whether we like it or not, in relation to the 2015 presidential election, India and other Western powers played a very significant role. It was very clearly stated. Now, the, the documentary wise, it didn't come out, but John Kerry, former State Secretary of the Department of State, yeah. he very clearly stated the fact that uh, American State Department had spent millions of US dollars hmm. to change the regimes in three, four countries. They are very specifically, they have mentioned the names of Syria, yeah. Sri Lanka, and Burma. Yeah. So it was very clear, it was very evident that they have been playing a part in changing the government of this country. So India was also part of that. Probably the geopolitical interest. The China is becoming economically very, very strong. Uh, country, so it would uh, poised to be the largest economy in the world. Yeah. So at the same time, also when the China is coming to Sri Lanka and investing heavily, India got upset. So, so there, there was this question about fine balance between India and 
China. Probably mm. we got it wrong at that time. So, but we want to convey the message. Oh, is, to that, India. is that why he's going back? You know, he's yeah, going we have back. to convey the message. We, we've been, so we've, we've been always it? telling you are a br big brother, but mm. you know China is a good friend of ours. So we so want that, to ensure that, 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 that the China off whatever now. the government, President J. R. Jayawadar couldn't do it without India. Mm. President R. Prem Das couldn't do it without India. So we have to ensure whoever. Uh, the party, whatever the party that governs this country, but our prime minister asked, asked them to leave. That was that was where he our, went wrong. Our, our yeah. prime minister asked, asked so, him to leave. But yeah, why, that's why, why that, that why was that was where wrong? he went wrong. Why do you say because that? Because you have to do it amicably with you know. It's India is such he a. He didn't such want a, to. He didn't want to play second fiddle. He yeah, wanted that's right, that's, to that's uphold the sovereignty of so our country. You have to understand the part India plays in relation to you know, the, the, the political issues in relation to Southeast Asian countries. India is virtually controlling Bangladesh economy. It is influencing Maldives. It is yeah. influencing Nepal. Yeah. It is there in uh, Bhutan. But so, in so Nepal, in Nepal, in Nepal now, in Nepal now, they've, they've uh, done away with the, the dependency on, uh, on India. Because China have given them access to four ports. You have now, to do the, it in a very the, subtle manner. You have to use your political brains to do now, that. Now, your, yes. your presence here has obviously sparked a great interest amongst our viewers. And we've got loads of questions. I'm going to have yes. to take some of them. And look, here we go. Can you deny the massive debt MR and his government left this country in? Left this country in? Sorry. What about the culture of impunity? No. White rants, murders. Whatever the faults of this Yapal in the government, there are no dead journalists on the streets. There you okay, go. the first question to answer is the, in relation to uh, debts. Yeah. It's very clearly, you know, by the time we took over in 2005, yeah. the, the amount of debt was 102% of the you know, GDP of this country. Yeah. You know, we, we brought it down to 72%. Right. As per the Central Bank report of, the, of 2017, yeah. which was produced by this, you know, the, the, the current government, right. the debt levels are going up to again 80% of the GDP. And the right. total amount of debt was 7,390 billion Sri Lankan rupees. Yeah. To date, it had gone up to 11,300 billion Sri Lankan rupees. It has increased by 4,000 because, because, 4, be, you know, because, 4, 4, because billion Sri say, Lankan rupees. Yeah. So the amount of debt had gone up, the percentage wise it had gone up. So we can see very clearly what we have done. So they have taken 4,000 billion for the last three years. What have they done? You know, from the they've loans to, that they have to, taken, had to you pay. can see the highways, you can see yes. the ports, you can see the airports. Yes, you but know, they, a, they've, had to, they've, had, the they've had to pay. They've, they've had to pay, pay these back. That's what this government is saddled with. No, that is if they have paid, the amount has to go down for us. Yeah. It was three thousand seven hundred ninety-one billion Sri Lankan rupees right. in, in total number. Yeah. So even now, the the present government also acknowledges that fact. Now it had gone up to 11,000 billion. It is increased by 4,000. Yes, the prime minister if, if they had paid back, the prime minister the, says at least the the level should go down, or at least it should remain at the same level. But the prime minister says Sri Lanka is sort of slightly changing the direction. We are diversifying exports and so on, so not to be so dependent on tea and the apparel industry. Well, he will, he so can on. say whatever he says, but the trade deficit has been going up. But, but one very, factor, one good thing has happened. Isn't he, isn't he a smart man? <laughs> Politically, he's a smart man, I would say, because he's always he managed to put forward somebody else to get the, the, the to pass the winning post. Right. And he becomes a prime minister. So he's a politically smart man. Right. Well, let's take the second question of the of that uh, the second part of that question. What about the culture of impunity, white man's and murders? Well, the people defeated us by popular vote because of those charges only. Right. So I'd, I had answered to that that question three times in the same program in relation to white van episode, right? Yes. That, so nobody had seen. You you know, we, we saw the white vans for the first time in this country, uh, uh, you know, one and a half years well, ago. I when there was it, a, it's not. It's, it's, it's so, not. It, okay, it, you it, can it's go a metaphorical and tell it, term. But metaphorical. But but at the same time, it's if if something of that nature had happened. We know now it's the duty of the present government. They came to power. But this is one hell of a joke, isn't it? No, they, 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 they have to, you, in that government. They have to we show the people. Journalists. They have to show the people. They have to, they have there's to, there's to, nothing to show, Doctor. Last what, what, what happened to the dead? What happened to the investigations? Right. Why can't they carry out investigations and bring you know the perpetrators to the book? Because obviously, this is the so, question so I much of evidence has been has been who, done away with. Who Here had we go. destroyed the evidence? We'll have to tell you. Your government has to tell the people of this country 
who had destroyed the evidence. If they can't find people who are responsible for that murder, why did they why spend did so say, much I of raised money? I both my hands to to the justice. You know, they'll have to bring these people to uh, you know, to, to, to the forefront. Uh, like you I say, your, your the presence people who had here, gone down. your presence here has caused lots of uh, consternation, and uh, and they're, they're sending so many questions. Why did the they you guys spend so much of money building an airport? a port and a ghost town in Hambantota. Well, the money could have been used, better used, for housing of the poor people. 137,000 houses are still required. Well, that is a question that you have to answer on a long-term basis. So the, the, the Rajapaksha government had a vision for Hambantota, actually. So but they had no vision. They had no vision for the people on the, in the east, in, in Akarai Paktu. The Saudi government gave a completely free a gift of fifteen million dollars. They built five hundred houses there, and not even the dogs are living in there now because the Rajapaksa government failed to allocate those houses, and they made up a story and said that the Saudi government wanted it given only to Muslims. That's absolute rubbish. There is no such thing in the agreement. Well, I don't know about greater deeds about that donation yeah. actually, yeah. but you know, those things have to go parallelly. So housing is a need of the people. You have to provide good, you know, safe drinking water. Electricity has to be developed. At the same time, you know, to, to make the Hamban to the commercial hub, they had the plan. So that's why they developed the port. Port was built at a cost of 150 billion uh, Sri Lankan rupees. And we managed to get that money back immediately when, when it was offered to sell. So the Chinese came back and, you know, bought it. So because there's a value of that, you know, when the Kra Canal is built in Thailand, so that's a direct link between East and West. Are you so there's so are much you, of importance to the, the Hambantota port. Okay, airport did not develop as we you know expected. You know, it takes a long time. For an instance, Kalambu port took 150 years to come to this level. Yeah. Before that, they were trying to develop Gold Harbor from you know the 16th century onwards. They were trying to develop Gold Harbor, the, but doctor, it took nearly 300 years the, for do, us to the, understand. The doctor, I hear Gold Harbor you, couldn't be developed. I I, I, I hear what you say, right? However. At the, at the bottom line is this, both sides, both sides yeah. of the government are the same. You say they did it, they say you did it, right? Ultimately, our country is in tatters. The people have to cope with this rising cost of living, uh, declining service uh, delivery and availability on the part of government, right? You just look, you're a doctor, and if you go into any of these uh, hospitals and so on, you will see what I'm talking about. And I'm sure you know, you, no, know. and you acknowledge that, right? Uh, <clears throat> politicians are meant to serve the people, not to serve themselves. No, really and that's true. the whole problem. Uh, the, the, whole, the problem, Doctor, is that at the end of the day, even uh, genuine politicians such as you, who have obviously got the interests of the people at heart, are going to find out the hard way that the people will rise against you. And if we play this clip of President Obama uh, on the leadership stakes, this is what he had to say. And I'll please listen to it because it, it is so important. Let me be honest with you. I do not understand this. <laughs> I am in my second term. It has been an extraordinary privilege for me to serve as the President of the United States. I cannot imagine a greater honor or a more interesting job. I love my work. But under our Constitution, I cannot run again. I can't run again. I actually think I'm a pretty good president. I think if I ran, I could win. But I can't. So there's a lot that I'd like to do to keep America moving, but the law is the law. And, and no one person is above the law, not even the president. And I'll be, I'll be honest with you, I'm looking forward to life after being president. I won't have such a big security detail all the time. It means I can go take a walk. I can spend time with my family. I can find other ways to serve. 
The point is, I don't understand why people want to stay so long. Especially when they've got a lot of money. When a leader tries to change the rules in the middle of the game just to stay in office, it risks instability and strife. I love my work. I can't run again. But, if I, but I believe that if I ran, I can win. But the law is the law. I don't understand why people want to stay so long especially if you've got so much of money as well. I can take a walk in the park. I can do, I don't have to have such a big security detail, and so on. President Obama, the law is the law. In this country, the law is the law, and it's meant to be tampered with and tinkered with, like the 18th Amendment. And then we've had the 19th Amendment to cancel out the 18th Amendment. What complete rubbish is this? The, the people of this country completely fed up both Rani Vikram Singh tinkers with the constitution of the United National Party, has been doing that for the last 24 years. Minder Rajapaksa can't just get it that he's lost and he can't. President Obama said something else there. I can find something else to do. Right? And he can help. So can Minder Rajapaksa. No, the, the political culture is very much different right. than in, and then they're completely, in this country. They're completely rubbish. And, and I'm surprised, Doctor, that you, I mean, you're, you're young, you are the second, you could be the second tier, but why are you being so subservient to these people? I mean, they, there's no God-given right for them. No, it's, it's, a, it's a political culture in this part of the world, actually. Change so, it. Change know, it. We, have to, we have to change, but the change has to come gradually. And how gradual? Sri Lanka, how, and, how old are you? How old are you? Uh, no, it's, I'm 48. Right. Well, okay. you, you know, you've, you're, you're, you're in the prime of your youth. Not you? youth, actually. I'm a middle-aged man. I well, would say. okay, but you, you're the prime. You, you, you are acceptable to the population. You're not 30, right? Right. And wh why are you so? Don't you have it in yourself? Your, your no, leadership. It's, no, it's actually it has to be a gradual process. You know, I'm a newcomer to the politics. Actually, I entered parliament in 2010. But, you know, coming back to the, the question in relation to the law, you know, but it's about the law. So uh, since 19th Amendment was brought in, so the, 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 the terms were restricted to two, two terms, actually. So we have to, all, all what he has said was that we have to seek opinion from the court, you know, court of law in relation to uh, the, the third term. So you it's see, very, very, see, very you clear. He has see, not said anything but, but, about, uh, but Dr. about, Patrick, about, can, about the law. But Dr. Patton, you can see this. You can see this. We had the, the two world wars, and we had the Cold War, and so on. Politics changed, but you know the, the parties didn't haven't changed, and over here, and you can see what's happened. The people have been waiting; they're fed up, and so they decided to do things their way. And President Rajapaksa, who thought that he's invincible, he was, he was sent home. And so the, you can see what's happening. So the people a, are changing. So, so it's a, the, the people are the people are yeah, changing. Very correct. So democratically, people and have it, taken it, the decision. They won't, they won't change. Politicians yeah, right. are not so, changing. You know, after all, he's the person who had ended the vote, the thirty-year civil war, and then people decided but, to vote against but him. But so another another yes. another another message. Yeah. There is a school of thought that all what MR wants is to secure NR's future by securing the leadership of this LFP, and will sacrifice anybody or any election no, to answer, ensure NR answer, survives answer, to face the future. answer to that question lies in your uh, uh, question, actually. So people are about the politicians. You know, they are at, at the forefront, actually. So they would not let what we want to do. So the people had decided against MR also. That's why he was defeated by the popular isn't vote. His, isn't, so his to, to you know, isn't his visit yes. to India uh, for his own survival, or is it for the love of the country? No, that is basically in, in politics. I, I, I very clearly mentioned we have to have you know India in our side. So they they've been playing a very pivotal role in relation to Sri Lankan politics. So we have we must ensure that they do do not you know come ahead with a, you know sort of a, you know strong hand to prevent our victory in a forthcoming election. So we must ensure that we deliver the correct message to what Indians. About another question. Because what they, 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 another yeah. question. What about the two brothers with American citizenship? They gave up our land when it suited them, and now they want to come back 
to continue the gravy train. No, at that time actually it was a different scenario altogether because you what know from, 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 from one side it was the, the woman on the other side, you know, the, the south was burning with the youth unrest. So there had been, you know, politically and socially it was a very, you know, different time altogether. So people could not find, you know, proper things to do in this country. So some people migrated, not only them, so there are thousands of people who migrated. You why, know, why can't we be like, take a stance like Imran Khan has done with the Americans? Uh, you know, and the same we can be, India can be on, uh, can be on our side, but not in our bed. Yeah, true, that is and, true. And, uh, and the same with China. But why is it that our political leadership are displaying an uncanny lack of leadership. No, that is very clear that we have to balance these two together. So it's a very fine line between these two countries in relation to the international politics. So that's why we have to draw that fine line and show them, okay, look here, you are our you know, elder brother, you, know, you are our best friend. So those two countries yeah, will have to pass away. But so look at it this way. Yeah. Gota Biraj Paksa, is much being spoken about him, right? <laughs> is it a shame he left the army? and only came back after his brother was elected and served elsewhere. And then he played, he kind of kind of played the general. But he wasn't. He left the army. Do you understand what I'm saying? He left the army because, because before he, we he could... Had, he had very clearly answered to that question. Actually, there was no vision in relation to war. So what happened was, so that, you know, after what about so all of a sudden, all of a sudden after, when his brother came back, came in, yes. he, his vision uh, no, became he, clearer. He, you know, he had been supporting him over a period of time, actually, you know, without, you know even if he, the, the great majority of the people did not know, they had been supporting him uh, throughout his election campaigns when Why? he was a member of parliament, when he was a junior minister of the, the cabinet. So he, they had been, the, the family members had been supporting but, him throughout. But doctor, but, don't you, uh, don't but, you but, subscribe but to Colonel this Gota, view? But Colonel Gotha Rajapaksha had very clearly stated the but fact don't, that... But, uh, but, uh, doctor, the but government, doctor, don't yes. you agree yeah. with this, this statement that balancing must be done from a position of strength yes right not to go and sell our souls to india no. china or whoever yes. it is yes right on the one hand uh, president rajapaksa went to china and did all what he did in china now he's going along trotting along having blamed the indians for his downfall he's now trotting along there and what? Trying to get their sympathy. No. Some is changing in, in his relation stance. to the foreign policy, the managing of those international affairs. I would, I would say that you know, it wasn't hundred percent correct. So that's why, if we had made mistakes, it's always chance for us to you know, you know, correct, correct them. So that's why we are trying to correct ourselves in relation to the international issues. So and also coming back to the the question in relation to Gotabaya Rajpaksa, he had very clearly stated the fact that you know then government or Jaya Jaya did not have a clear vision about the war. So you know, Dr. Ramesh, Dr. Ramesh Patrina, Dr. Ramesh Patrina. So I I I I I wish that I can show this on 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 the screen, but I think this uh, is is the essence. It's a photograph of Mr. Mr. Modi, and N R. Yes. Is this what you're trying to do? Are you also complicit it, it, and this, this, are you, are you was, this photograph was taken when he was the president of this country? I'm not but, saying it uh, wasn't. But, I'm not but, talking but about Mr. that. I'm, I'm Mr. Modi about. did not support. Right. Mr. Modi did not support our campaign or the the the. My, but I'm, I'm asking. That's that not the, the truth about the, it. What I'm so saying he is, is, take is the only thing Myanmar is interested in is NR or is no, it the country? You know, it's about the country actually. He's the one who had, you know, this country would have, you know, bleed to uh, death uh, during the, the 30 year old war. He yeah. basically saved the motherland from that, you know, the clutches of the uh, the, the terrorist organization and people started living now freely. Say, right. The country started developing only after the war was ended in 2009. Look, maybe this encapsulates so the whole had, thing. Had, Regret sir, to note that there is no proper there is no proper policy, there is no proper opposition. Why can't MR simply be an advisor without clinging on to hopes of leadership? We've come to the end of our program, unfortunately. I'm so sorry that I couldn't take all your questions, but it really is a whole screen full of them. Dr. No, Ramesh, what we, what we, what we thank you very much is, for no, being what we want on to say is that all what you said We'll, we'll give you another opportunity. We'll give another you must, you must give another opportunity to come. We actually. will do. Yes. We will yeah. do. Thank you. Half an hour's flown so All quickly. Right, thank you. Thank you very much. Take care and God bless. News first. Newsline with Faraz Shaukatali.